digged me first. What? Songbird. Still want her? Huh. Turning your back on her now. Okay. Name your price. I'm all ears. Want just one thing. To survive. Live on. Just one dose. One instance of the cure exists. Song decided to keep it, but left me with nothing. I see. So Songbird for me, and one dose for you. Need the cure and the rippers who know how to use it. Mention contacts in Europe, personal ones. In Europe, at Langley too. The NUSA specialists are top of the game. They'll pull the data for you, then operate. Do we have a deal? How am I to know your people will recover the neural matrix? Any guarantee? I can't pretend to know this shit inside out. Remember though, Sinashore's out tech. Say I survive. What happens to Song, dare I ask? We'll do our damnedest to stop the Black War of Degeneration. Look for other ways. Myers wants Song dead. Condemned her already. Myers couldn't let her escape. If we get her, alive, have her in our hands, the NUSA will be safe. Songbird will live. Deal. Take her. But don't fucking let me die. Launch pad's in sight. Almost there. I know. I'm waiting. Wakey, wakey. End of the line. Come on, time to go. Step and you're dead. Warned me about her, damn it. Turned out to be a straight con. Well, not worth dying for. Betrayed Myers? You? Then came my turn. She was my friend once. Who she is today, I don't know. And I won't be the one to judge her. Prom. Taking you home, so Taking you home. Area secure for landing. No, we will not do that. We grab the girl and go. Hmm. Thought about how you're gonna spend your 30 pieces of silver? I'll be in touch. Don't keep me waiting. Dare dick me. Good night's sleep, V. That's what you need. Even more than I do. I was just thinking to myself. Were you now? Dunno, I mean, fuck. Now I kind of feel sorry for the chick. 
forgetting someone, Chun. Ever shed a tear for my fate? My shit luck? Oh, you're royally fucked. True. But at least you're not alone in facing it. Hmm. Just might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Don't get used to it.
patients waiting for you in the drop locker. My surgeon. Anything's up for me? Not quite. Not yet. The process is complicated. My fingers on the pulse. I'm on my way out of nights. Relax me. Call you back. Hey there. What were we talking about? I'm on my way out of night city. Let's meet up face to face. Troop to station out South Caliway. Reed? Okay. Life's point We're gonna get shipped.
Nick of time. Minutes on, you'd have found my tracks. That's it. First we met. Black Thornton Merrimack. Three minutes. Front seat. No problems with your memory. Tata -ta, Night City. Mm-hmm. After ten damn years. I'm needed in D.C., or so I'm told. Long-ass way to drive, June. Well, trains just rub me wrong. Besides which, I need time to think things through. Lots of things, lots of time. Songbird had her surgery yet? Gonna see her? Somi's in good hands. Has a lot of rehab to look forward to. Be a while before she's... back being herself. Then what? Congressional hearings? Myers is too pragmatic for that. She'll reinstate Somi to the FIA. Let her continued service be her penance. Okay, Reed, what's on your mind? What you need from me? I can't sleep, I'm trying to break things down, keep asking myself, and I don't know, but maybe you do. Show me, up there in Space Force One, she raised you on the hollow, not me, why? Song knew she couldn't take you for a ride. You just knew her too well. You two had been close. Think it's true? Her now was not the woman I worked with way back when. Banished from her life for seven years. Left her to her own devices. Contact would have been unwise, so impossible. I played the role I had to. Song knew the truth, though. Knew full well you were no traitor. Well, as I saw it, I was protecting her. Know what your problem is? You find it damn hard to just let go. Open to some advice? Stop torturing yourself with shit you can't affect, let alone control. Hmm. Time for me to fly. And honesty, much appreciated, V. He deserved it, Saul. Await contact. I'll ring you when the surgeons are ready. Poor fucking bastard. Feel sorry for him? You? Dunno, maybe. Guy's bankrupt, all out of hope. Gonna hang himself. You'll see. Had seven years to do that and didn't. He's got a chance to turn his life around now. Chum lost everything. Literally. Just hasn't realized it. Yet. His president proved herself a war criminal. His friend flipped him a fucking club-sized bird. His ideals bought him of a cesspit, choking on shit. He'll hang himself.
Our neurosurgeons have devised the right neural matrix command. You ready to kick that construct to the curb? Be honest now. How successful this stand to be? This hemisphere's top surgeons are waiting to help you. It'll work, rest assured. So, the Ingram. Any way to avoid damaging it during excision? No. Your mind needs reconstruction, V. The Matrix needs to wipe the relic. All data. How long will this take? What are we talking? Procedure? Rehab? We really don't know. Might be a week. Might be a month. Whatever the case, cat and plants. Find someone to take care of them. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. An FIA AV can pick you up stat. I just need a meeting point. Preferably secluded. Place called Misty's Esoterica. Roof of the building. Right. We'll be standing by. Hey, Misty. Happened upon some more murals. A little different. These can't say exactly how, just different. Hmm. Describe what you saw for me. So I saw a hooded figure, Star War pentagram behind them. Devil stealing's your area of expertise too. Hmm. The King of Pentacles, having dealings of your own with one who's built a rich, powerful realm through sheer determination. Someone like that, dangerous, V. World looks different from atop a throne. Your reign is constantly under threat. <sighs> Rather deal with satanic shit, honestly. Saying I gotta be on my guard? I'm not sure simple caution's enough. Bad fate's stronger than that. But follow your heart, I always say. Even in defeat, You'll remain true to yourself. So there was this figure, seated, holding this thingamabob like a club or scepter or something. The King of Wands? So that suggests you've met a leader who sticks to his principles in pursuing his aims, or even some grand vision. Okay, good or bad? Well, as ever, it depends on you. The King of Wands suggests fresh opportunities, the discarding of old patterns or habits. But it implies a certain danger, too, of ruthless action and shortcuts taken. And in the end, it could demand a sacrifice towards fulfillment of some great expectation. Hello? Anybody so this there? Figure sitting there with, mm, don't know, a goblet maybe. Ah, the King of Cups. Oh, be especially careful with anyone you've met who this card might be pointing to. Well, gotta be careful with everyone I meet these days. On one hand, the King of Cups signifies understanding, emotional balance. On the other, he's the opposite: manipulation and spiritual crisis. And V, hun, the last thing your spirit needs is even more chaos and disappointment. So, saw a guy wielding a pair of swords. Mmm, you've met the King of Swords. One of my personal favorites. Oh, something good? Well, 
The King of Swords sees clearly and is a strong voice of reason. But when emotions run high, even reason can't always rise above the jazz. His truths are often sharp, painful to hear. Some would rather cover their ears, live a lie, if only to avoid suffering. And they say I've got my head in the clouds. Earth to be! Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to read. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? She was clear as the summer sky already. You think they'd suck you out of one head, drop you in another? Well, thought I'd get packed and shelled. And in the best of all possible worlds, that you'd help me hop on the net. Not that they'd excise me like some fucking tumor. Figuring out something that might work versus a surgical procedure. <laughs> Choice is clear, Johnny. Raisin Reed on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually eager to be clinic bound. AV's on his way. It won't be long now. So this is how it ends. How else did you see it playing out? It's my body. Hmm. And it's my life. James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the woman who rescued the president of the NUSA. So, hang on. Everybody know about me and Myers? What about plausible deniability, burying shit, whatnot? Officially nothing happened, but water cooler talk goes deep within the FIA. Word spreads. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up, on assignment. Not to worry, you're in good hands. Come on inside. 
Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition, make sure you're stable. Good hands. Can hold you to that. Lozano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? Hope there's enough of those tatters left to scan. The damage is apparent, but looks fixable. I want to bid the city goodbye. Mind opening the door? Don't worry. You'll be back here in no time. Can never be too sure. Just open it. You shook my hand, Weiss. Indulge me? Uh, good old night city. Most reliable of late capitalism's human meat grinders. Survived it once. Do well to remember that. If you ever tossed back in again. Sure, I'll handle it. Slept up occasionally, but learned a buttload over the last few weeks. Interesting. Cause I see someone who's come all this way without learning shit. Congrats. Can feel proud of what you've become. What the hell you want from me, Johnny? Acknowledgement, decency, a sprinkling of regret, and an apology. Want an apology for me choosing to save my own life? No, V. An apology for fucking ending mine. Just wanna live, Johnny. Been clear about that from the start. There were options. Could have gone with Alt, blasted our way into Makoshi. But I didn't. Can't fault me for picking the safer up. You want me to act like this? Us? was just a big nothing burger and will just drift off into sweet slumber except only one of us is waking up i'm sorry johnny sorry you couldn't go out on your terms the way you wanted shouldn't be like this i know you're just spewing words Fine, yeah, but I, I wanted you to hear him. Could have been solid-ass tunes in another life. Wondering why we weren't in this one. We were too much alike. Stubborn to a fault. Iron-willed. Glued to our principles, you and I. Think that's what I respect most about you. Sticking to your guns. Good to hear. No telling what we'd have achieved if we really put our heads together. No pun intended. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden free. Never know how stress might affect it. Think this is it, kiddo. Yes. So. Think we can find it in our heart to forgive each other? Yeah. I can. You? Think I can, too.
You are awake. Bree, you in there? I fear they are approaching. You should not have a return! You will die here with me! I did not know I could trust you. The circumstances have changed. Take care, B. B, stay with me! You weren't dreaming, B. Those were memories. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Afterlife. See you there. Hives, they're opening. I think she sees me now. Bree, can you hear me? I think I can hear. Good. About time. Reed, uh, is that you? Seem different somehow. Even almost look like. Uh... Stay at Langley long enough, it uh makes you its own. I'm no exception. Nice. Nice view. What? Out the window. Mm, greenery, calm, birds chirping. Not what you used to. I was told. You got a new job. New duties, lots of them. Busy bear, no time for me. Who said that? When? Wise. In the AV, you weren't there. Right, that. Wasn't any reason for me to be there then. Now, yeah, I felt I owed you this. How do you know when I'd wake? Doctor's estimates. You were supposed to be conscious by today, tomorrow latest. They started bringing you up a few days ago. Controlled process. So. How's life? How's things? Ah, uh, paperwork. Training recruits. Nothing to write home about. Not your style of work, sounds like. I can manage field work anyway. Not anymore. Need to ask. How's so me? Everything work out all right? I've been cut off from updates for a while now. She's alive. That's all I know. Putting in a personal appearance. Bad news. Gotta be. Just tell me. Surgery was a bust, right? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You're alive. Hearing a big-ass butt in there. Because there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. To cut the Angram out safely. Telling me I wiped Johnny. Sacrificed him. For nothing. Not for nothing. You're alive. Your neurons can no longer handle most implants, chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V, but the life you used to know is gone.
There's uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. You're shitting me. Believe me. I wish I could have said it was all good. 70 fucking nine? You taking me for a ride? Is some sick joke? Please say it is. Or just admit, I, I don't know that you don't know, aren't sure, whatever. I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. <laughs> Same shit. Always. Peeps wanting to help me. Never being able to. Why? Are you... You all right? I need... I need... Need some hair. Barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Damaged my nervous system. <laughs> Can hardly believe it. Why, why didn't they use nanobots? Neural matrix. Apparently, you reduced your cell's regenerative capacity. We tried everything. Really? What? What about my chrome? Your implants have been deactivated. It needed to do it. Your survival depended on it. Need to get out of here and see you. When can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Cream, where's my stuff? B, listen to me. Your body... It ain't going back to what it was. And then sees a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Why the hell you care? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, errand rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be, given your old one is long gone. Dunno, someday maybe. Need to think. But now. Going home to NC, definitely. Didn't escape death, just to waste away here. Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed? This story, we do the right thing. Could we have done better? I don't know, V. And I won't try answering. Just plain afraid.
No fucking way. Hey, Jude. V, where you been to? In U.S. clinic. Had surgery. That's a long story. Must have been a long operation, too. Gruesome. Bloody. Spent most of that time in a coma. Unplanned, obviously. Wow, V. Thought I'd never see you again. Should be dead, I know. Good news is, finally found a way to excise the biochip. What? How? Telling me Silverhand's out? You're gonna remain yourself? Forever and ever. A hundred percent V. V? That is beyond Nova. So damn nice to know some stories actually get a happy ending. Dealing with some drawbacks. I... I'll uh, never fully recover. I'm alive, sure, but... I have no idea what comes next. Shit. Are you serious? Really sorry, V. I hope you figure it out. Get yourself set up again. Thought I could drop by, see you. We'd grab a pizza, talk. You know, a lot's changed. Preem. Fresh in sea gossip. <laughs> Can't wait to hear it. V, I'm in Pittsburgh, and I'm married. If you ever hop to the other coast, come on over for a beer, but now, really can't help you. Shit. Miss so much. You know, if you hadn't vanished, don't know that I'd ever have left NC or met Bianca. Maybe I should have ghosted sooner. Come on. You know it's not like that. Well. <laughs> Bye, Judy. Really hope our paths cross again someday. Me too, V. And good luck. I'm only gonna say this once. I'm in no mood for pranks. So if you don't... Hey there, Vic. V? Is it really you? What? Rate me off that fast? <laughs> Gotta admit, I knocked back a glass or two over your symbolic grave. But how are you... Why? So, this Netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promise surgery, cure using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked, but not without complications. A two-year coma, for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. <laughs> yep. I mean, they saved me, new lease on life, but Chrome's a no-go for me, no? Even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. Oh, at least I can still count on you being there for me. Huh? What do you mean? I've already hollowed someone. Seems not all my relationships stood the test of time. People move on, V. But, well, sometimes some of them come back. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot? Yeah. In a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address.
How can I help you? Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that, finally. V, did you get that? My question. I asked if you find the liquor I procured for Mr. Vector suitable. Yep, perfect. Exactly the one I had in mind. I love it. Uh, sorry. Zoned out for a sec. It's good to have you back in NCV. Hey, NCV. Rather nice ring to it. I'd wondered if we'd embark on any more journeys together. Though I can't help noticing you seem so absent. Might I ask how you feel? Like an outcast. Feels like just yesterday I was part and parcel of this town. Now I'm a goddamn tourist. If it makes you feel any better, I don't believe Night City has changed all that much. How's life as a single car treating you? It's neither here nor there. I am as father made me. Wonder what he's up to. The essence of his being has transcended the limits of my comprehension. It can simultaneously be anywhere and nowhere. How'd you survive for two years without an owner? I stayed in a parking garage. But that got very boring, very boring. <laughs> And you took their money? No. Never. I wouldn't know what to do with it. I merely asked them to fill me up. I think we could swing by my place. Sure. Let me just pull your address now and... Oh. What's up? It looks like you were booted out a year ago. Unpaid rent. Apparently. I'm afraid I can't fulfill your request. <sighs> Fuck me. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The talk of the town is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you might wish to hear the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True or big fat baloney? Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would remove themselves from the picture is just not plausible. So you're suggesting he had help, but then to what end? I think it's simple. Yorinobu deliberately tried to destroy Arasaka. His biography attests to that. Eventually, the board woke up and proceeded to excise this saboteur within. Oh, fascinating theory. One all you listeners can read all about in Masao Adams' latest book, The Prodigal Phoenix. Better get going. And, V, a word of advice. We all lap up the last of our fuel eventually. But that hardly means the journey wasn't a joy.
Hey, girl, hold up. Oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network right. Clinic. How may I help you? What is this? The chimes, incense, candles. Where are they? You're sure to find something of the sort in town. Not asking about that. Esoterica shop. That's what this was. Well, apparently, not anymore it isn't. Misty Olszewski. Is she here? No one by that name is employed here. No. Misty worked here. Two years back. Gotta know something. It's a new branch. Sadly, I never met the previous owner. Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah. Private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. They make me wear this damn thing. Something about meeting safety standards. Doubt it, given I almost got a brain hemorrhage on seeing it. Ha! <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. Come on. It'll make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone vs. Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Life was simpler somehow, wasn't it? Yeah, good times. Things changed, no denying it. Jackie's gone. So's Misty's shop. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right, come on, hop in the chair. So... Misty, what happened? She, uh, moved out not so long ago. Well, almost. It drops in occasionally to collect another box of straggling sundries. Visits are rarer and rarer, though. What you actually aim to do? We'll start with a solid scan of your body. Relax. This'll take a moment. So, no drinking after all? Relax, we'll raise a toast. Let me fix you first. Okay, let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? Lost in life. All my plans, dreams. You survived. Can't function in my environment, so what's it matter? Me from two years back? Gone. Never gonna be her again. You know what I mean. What are you trying to say exactly? Sure hope you know what you're doing. Corp web? Pretty hard to escape once you're caught in it. Not to mention, you're a fucking home specialist. This chain came looking, knocking. 
pressured me pretty hard. In a bid to survive, I gave them an indecently high price. They agreed to pay it. Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. And that's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. I no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. Think we could have chosen better? All of us? No. Hmm. No hesitation. If there'd been better options, we'd have picked them. Or convinced ourselves they weren't better at all. Vic. Sensible as ever. And with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. say I like that, hmm. First time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that it... Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life-threatening kind. Said you could do something, Vic. I... I was wrong. I'm sorry. Vic, told you, no going back. I'm limited. Fuck. You're a corpo ripper. You make it sound like you've got nothing to look forward to. You've changed, yes, but you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. Just two years. You may not see it. Time's passed differently for me, so... I do see it. You're plain unhappy. Pretending to be your former self. <clears throat> you really think so? Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's m <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. Tyler, please. Vendors? Customer. I only have customers now. Vector? Hello? I'm waiting. <gasps> Got a patient, Vic. Don't worry about me. Ugh. V. 
You can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course, I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Guess you landed in some kind of shitstorm. What can I tell you? Petrol cam cocks fuckers. Well, well. See that, Jimmy? She a corporal rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a good time, Chumba. Like I give a shit. Give me money. Piss off or your brains fry. To a crisp. Uh... I don't know about this. Go on, hack away. Give it your best shot. Nothing? Thought as much. Booyah! Fee? But you... What happened to you? <clears throat> Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? Damn. No chance I'd recognize you on the street. The jacket you're wearing. Jackie's? Yeah. You look almost the same. A bit wilted, maybe, but... Yeah. Time kind of stopped for me. What's up with you? Feeling okay? I'm fine, mostly. Just a bit busted up, is all. Those guys must have been real good to knock you down like that. No, Misty. It wasn't them. It was me. I'm no good. Not anymore. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly... I'm just so glad to see you. Missed you so much, Misty. Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. Probably got it right. Just darn hard to believe right this second. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. Mate, <laughs> you're bread and butter. Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Come by to see Victor before leaving. Vic said you weren't okay with the changes. Said you... parted ways. Yeah? Interesting way of putting it. Actually, I told him he'd gone soft, and I had no intention of following suit. Where are you going? Orbital air terminal. Then to Poland. To this really ancient forest there. Hmm. Is that not to find yourself? Find some work, actually. I'll roam the wilderness. Ticket hikers for feeding candy to bison. 
I need a break from the city and the crowds. So, you're finally leaving. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? <gasps> Jackie's passing. I was in a really dark place then. But no, that's not it. My Fave Herbal store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. Nothing lasts forever. Gonna recover your peace of mind, Misty. Probably. Then I'll lose it again, recover it. But most likely, it'll always be different. A piece built on something new. use a smoke too here <sighs> gotta say never imagined you with a cigarette in hand misty takes the edge off just started needing that Missy, can you just tell me what to do? Balanced or not, always had something smart to say. Hmm. I can tell you how I bounced out of the last dark pit I was in. Can you? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. Not that matter. My life's like I was a minute ago. Flat on its ass. Like it was when Arasaka booted you out? Like after Konpeki? Like it probably will be again? You might see this as odd or extraordinary. But life's about changes. Unwelcome ones, too. <sighs> FIA offered me a job. Well, it could be a place to plant your butt for a while. What are you thinking? To me, it'd be early retirement at a desk. Retirement does mean rest, I suppose. I still think you have other options. Probably lots. Made the best choice of all of us. Leave an NC before it gets you good. Oh, it got me anyway. But nothing's tying you to this place, V. No reason you can't leave too. It's a faces in the crowd thing. Might be our one privilege. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? So many places I've yet to see. Maybe leaving is the best option. Might actually find the new me somewhere out there. If you land in a certain ancient forest in Poland, I'll help you look. My ride will be here soon. Walk me to it.
So, till we meet again, I guess. Hope so. Oh, V. Do you still have that pendant I gave you? I... Uh, must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore. Heard you back in town. I cannot deny I am pretty fucking impressed. The helmet exfiltration, Dogtown clusterfuck, who knows what else. Yet somehow you're still alive and kicking. Though not quite as audaciously as before, I hear. Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits at the afterlife. Even had a few folks gunning for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Maybe that's better. Don't get me wrong, door's always open. You'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend, well, could wilt a bit more with each visit. Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? I know you are in Night City and in good health. No more biochip in your head. Congratulations, V. Much time has passed. I did not know what to tell you. I needed the words of old samurai. He expressed my thoughts. Good, strong medicine is bitter to the mouth. When you disappeared, I and Hanako-sama confronted Yorinobu. His allies, we tried to capture Arasaka Tower. We could not. They were strong. Hanako-sama is dead. I am called her murderer. I have been hiding for two years. My life is now the trash heap. Where I found you, I wish for you to know this. You are very strong medicine, V. I look back at times and what happened. Think about you, Songbird. We did right, that I know. Why do I keep asking myself if I could have done things differently? You saw what she's capable of. I had to stop her. And maybe, maybe punish myself. Is that it? It fucking hurts, but it should hurt, shouldn't it? Hey, v, it didn't quite work out in our last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco, of all places. <sighs> A new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say, some proper closure 
could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You think you'd be up for that? 